Hey, what's up, tennis fans? Welcome to Tennis Now's twice a week news update show, where we've got all you need to know about what's going on in our favorite sport. This week, we've got news from the final event of the year, the Davis Cup Final. Uh, Barclays ATP World Tour Finals champion Roger Federer still believes he can be number one. America's Alex Bogomolov Jr. has been cleared to play Davis Cup for Russia, and so much more. So make sure to stay tuned. Spain has taken a 2-0 lead against Argentina in the Davis Cup final in Seville. Rafael Nadal got Spain off to a great start when he, did, when he dominated Juan Monaco 6-1, 6-1, 6-2. -1, it was a stunning display from the man who said he lacked passion after he was dropped out of the World Tour Finals in the group stage. Nadal was just too good on the clay. Most critically, he broke Monaco's serve seven times while he never faced a break point. David Ferrer followed that up with an epic victory against Juan Martín del Potro. He beat the Argentine 6-2, 6-7, 3-6, 6-4, 6-3 in a brutally physical match that lasted 4 hours and 43 minutes. Now those wins put Spain one match away from winning their fifth Davis Cup title. World Tour Finals champion Roger Federer still believes he can reclaim the number one ranking. Federer told the New York Times he would like to retake the top spot, but the performance of Novak Djokovic has made it tough to achieve. Better is just one week short of tying Pete Sampras' record of 286 weeks as the number one player. Although he admits that Djokovic's success has made it tough, he said he's excited about the challenge and added, with a winning streak and a win at a slam, he would almost certainly be back in the conversation again. The Swiss reclaimed the number three ranking from Andy Murray earlier this week after he won in London. That title came after he won his first Paris Masters tournament the week before and the Swiss indoors before that. As it stands now, Federer is more than 5,000 ranking points behind Djokovic, but the Serb has an astounding number of points to defend next year. America's Alex Bogomolov Jr. has been cleared by the ITF to play Davis Cup for Russia next year. Bogomolov was born in Moscow, but has played as an American since he turned professional in 2002. Because he was born in Russia, he holds dual citizenship. He's had the best year in his career this year, and he was even voted by his fellow players as the ATP Most Improved Player of the Year, but he has never represented the United States in Davis Cup. At number 34, he's the fourth-ranked American, but the top-ranked Russian. Caroline Wozniacki has a new coach. Swedish newspaper Extra Blood Dead reports that Ricardo Sanchez, who recently coached Elena Yankovic, will coach the world number one along with her father. Wozniacki said the move was the right one because Sanchez has seen her play plenty of times before and he knows her game well. And he also knows the games of the other players on tour. Apparently Sanchez signed a one-year deal with Wozniacki. He said the opportunity was like a dream come true and compared it to how Pep Guardiola must have felt when he was asked to coach FC Barcelona. Now for those of you out there who don't follow soccer, that's like how Bobby Valentine must feel right now as the new manager of the Boston Red Sox. And that's it from us, folks. Remember to follow us on our social media at Facebook and Twitter, as well as to see all the videos we uploaded from the Barclays ATP World Tour Finals on our YouTube account. And to keep up with all that's going on in tennis, keep checking our website at www.tennisnow.com. As always, thanks for watching, and have a great weekend.